Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Happy Sunday. I hope everyone's had a lovely week and I hope you're all having a fabulous weekend so far. Mine's been pretty non-eventful. Um, yesterday I worked pretty much all day um, and today just catching up with chores and bits and pieces around the flat. You know, the stuff I couldn't really get done yesterday because of work, etc. But hey ho. It is what it is. Um, so today we are going to do my little weekly check-in for week, is it week 45? Yeah, week 45. Um, replenish for week 46 and then see what money we've got left over for the 100 envelope, 50p challenge and the penny challenge. Okay, so without further ado, let me crack on. Um, if this ends up being very, very quick, I do apologise. My camera is playing silly buggers and I tried to film my sinking funds update and it just kept crashing on me. So I thought, let me just get this done and then at least I get this weekly video um, uploaded for you all. So we'll start by going through the grocery envelope. Let's see what we got. So we've got 250p's and coin and a bit of change okay groceries had 40 pound left over one pound which means 39 pound was spent on groceries oh oh i've oh, just thrown that in a oh god right travel two pound left in travel i had 20 which means £18 was spent on travel. Miscellaneous. I've got what? Three, six, seven pounds. Seven pounds left over in miscellaneous. So I had 20, seven left over, which means £13 was spent. And that went on. Uh, I took a couple of bits to the dry cleaners and then on Friday, you know, when you're just like, mm, I really fancied a pizza. So I went and got a pizza from Waitrose and some garlic bread and had a very massive carb overload, but it was just what I needed. Okay. And then last but not least, uh, is social. Now, if you remember last week, you may or you may not, um, I challenged myself to having this 40 pound left over and yay me i actually succeeded in that it wasn't to be honest it wasn't that difficult once i stuffed it i took the envelope um out of the little pouch and just put it in the kitchen drawer so out of sight out of mind um i had no need to spend it because i wasn't really doing much um in the week uh, so there you go so i've still got that 40 pound left over um i think the determination for getting this 100 envelope done also you know kind of spurred me along the way Okay, so leftover is 40, which means I spent nothing on social. So we should have leftover. Oh, this is nice and easy math this week. Oh, 40, uh, 50 pound. So 50 pound leftover, which means that that should tally up to 70 quid. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so let's just check this is actually 50 pound before I get too excited. nine yeah okay happy day so we've got 50 pound left over let's just yeah let's just shove that there for one minute okay let's replenish for week 46 so i've budgeted my usual 120 pound but we're only cash stuff in 90 because i have got a hello fresh box coming this week so let's just check we've got the 90 pound so 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. Happy days. Okay, let's start with groceries then. So groceries, it's had 30 digits, digit, digit, oh God, hold on. Let me stick my teeth back in. I can't say the word digitally. Digitally? Digitally. It's had 30 pound digitally. So it's getting uh, 20 pounds, just if I need to top up on any other bits and bobs in the week. Okay, next up 
is travel. Travel's only getting £10 this week because I've got a few days off, so I'm not going to be going into work as often. I've got a spa day booked for Tuesday. I tell you, I can't wait. You know, when you're just in need of some real R&R. &R. Oh, I tell you. I've got three treatments, and I can't remember what they were. I think one was like a facial, one was a massage. Oh, yeah, and the last one was a, re like a foot reflexology session, so I'm going to be completely zen on tuesday i can't wait um right so miscellaneous is getting 10 this week and then that should leave me with 50 pound for social Okay, um, I am going out on Saturday for lunch with a friend, maybe a couple of drinks after, well, a couple of ciders. I mean, I don't really drink drink these days because I tell you, a hangover stays with me for about a week if I go too crazy and too crazy for me, like two glasses of wine is too crazy for me these days. So there we go. That's those stuffed for the week. Let's get rid of this. Let's do uh, let's do the 50p challenge. Get that one done. So we've got two 50p's. Happy days. Excuse the racket. I think after I've done this second round, I'm going to park the 50p for a while um, because of the penny challenge. So this I want to get done for uh, Christmas. 2023 um you know and at the rate i'm going it's not going to happen so i thought if i park the 50p for a bit and then just put all of my small change into this it might help you know i mean we'll see i don't know how much of a bigger difference it's going to make but i do want this to be christmas next year but we'll see there's a long time between, you know, now and then, so I could well easily change my mind. Okay, so let's do our small change. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, one pound 15. Going in the pot. Okay, one pound 15. Can we do that? Yeah, okay, so that's gonna be blue. And I'm thinking I might change these colours on here as well, you know, because, I don't know, I do find them very aggressive on the eye. But they do show up well on camera. Anywho, I'm waffling on. Right, let's pop that to one side and let's get on to my favourite part. Oh, me hundred envelopes. I tell you what, we're going to do it. I'm pretty sure of it. So... The next highest number I've got is 41, and we know I can do that because I have got 50 pound left over from here. So, we are gonna do that, get that one done. Let's see how, how few I've got left over now, I tell ya. And I've been watching a few people this week. Um, I haven't caught up on everyone's videos. I do try and watch some in the mornings when I'm having my cup of tea in bed. Um, oh, sorry guys, my camera just bloody gave up the ghost. Um, right, so, before I completely lose my train of thought, so we're gonna stuff 41 because that's the next highest number. I've got my 41 going in. Happy days. Um, yeah, I was adding up what I've got left to do on this. And I think with a wing and a prayer, it's definitely achievable if I'm, um, you know, stick to putting the £300 in out of my salary and then just try and be a bit extra frugal with me kind of weekly spending. So it's looking good. It's looking good. Um, and I've been watching a few videos this week and a few people have finished off their... Uh, 50 envelope challenges and it's just so nice to watch it's just nice to see people achieving you know what they set out to achieve because it does take a lot of dedication to do these you know a lot of consistency and it can be hard when you've got to factor in you know other things going on in life and budgets do you know what i mean right so what we got left over three four five six Seven, eight, nine, nine quid. Okay, then we've got 
20 pound that I stashed in here from last week. So that's 29 pounds. So shall I do another one or leave it until next week? No, do you know what? I'm going to leave this until next week. So that's £29. Actually, I might take some of these tens for travel. But that's £29 in there, stashed away. So I'm going to leave that in there in the hopes that, I mean, I doubt I'll be able to do £40 because I am going out of the weekend. So, but I mean, even still, if I can get something in the fair is done, well, that'll be better anyway okay that's what i'm gonna do before i change my mind um there we go that is me done my lovelies i hope everyone has a uh, lovely rest of their weekend a fabulous week ahead and i shall see you next week for more of the same take care guys bye